Welcome survivalists to the tutorial of underground farming. Today I will show you how to plant your crops underground where all the annoying zombies and your PvP enemies cannot easily spot you. Also it gives you a nice uh, protection on the seventh day so just the uh, hordes don't run into your field to destroy all your crops and uh, your farm blocks and they should protect you a little bit. So I hope this will help you to prevent major damage in your hard work, in your hard farming work. Yeah, let's begin. I was preparing a little bit for you. I have down here a, a room. One of the advantages when you start to, grow, uh, to build a room in the underground, you can gather all the materials and expand it as you like. The most important to build your crops is to have visit to the uh, a visible view line to the sky like here and then you can see you have seven blocks from the center to a side where you can plant your crops the green frame shows you here is possible to to plant your plants and the eight block is uh, had a, have a red frame and you can see is not possible So from the center plus seven blocks gives you a radius from eight blocks and a square from 15 by 15. But it's not a perfect radius. When you go here, you can see here is not easy, not, a, uh, not possible to plant the crops. And so on. The advantage from this is um, you can make just a hold, dig down, and start to build the the field, the plot field. And to prevent the zombies from falling down, you can use different blocks. One of the possible blocks are just the frames to put frames inside here, and the zombies don't drop just in your fields. Other possibilities is to use glass. But as you can see here, the transparency from the glass gives you a malus. Normal bulletproof glass plate, which is really expensive in resources, gives you two. The other glass plates, one or four. This means when you put your glass plates in here, you have a malus on the distance you can grow. You can see here is green, is green, is red. So this is the maximum radius you can build under the normal grass, uh, under the normal class. You remove this. You can build here without any problem. I recommend you to use the iron bars, which are really uh, durable in health point. And you can go here to put this inside to prevent the zombies for you to just fall in your fields. In the best case, start uh, with the top and build down and make full all the, the light shaft until um, each block is um, until each block is have a steel bar. Another advantage from this is you can scale it really easily to left, right, front, back side. Just what you need is to make more holes. As I told you before, there is no perfect radius and to use the complete field size, you just can make another light shaft. Put the iron fence inside and it's protected. And here you can use the complete perfect field. Another nice advantage from this is, it's not only scalable uh, left, right, front and back side, also to the up and the down side. As you can see here, with a complete light shaft, you can just dig down and dig down until the bedrock and you can start there to build, to collect your fields and to make a really big farmhouse. Oh, this is interesting. What is this? Yeah, like it. Give a subscribe 
and hit the bell if you want to stay updated. Also, you can watch the examples in real life directly on the server on thehellsgate.eu. I hope to see you there. Another big advantage uh, just from hiding than just from hiding it is uh, also in some servers where you have limited the claim blocks. You have maybe just one or two or three claim blocks and you don't want to use all. You can make a greenhouse just uh, to save the space. Here yeah. I have my greenhouse over different uh, different layers. As you can see here, in the border I'm using also the steel frames, the steel fences here in the top two to protect the sky. And this part I use the glass because I like to have the really nice light all the day without any, without any shadows. But the important light always comes through this fence. I hope this tutorial was helping you. And if you like what you saw, just like, subscribe, share it, and I hope to see you next time. If you have any suggestions or critics, uh, put it in the comments, please. Bye!